Right. Thank you very much. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Brian Barham and I teach at Sam Village College and I've taught there for 16 years now as a science teacher. Thanks. And you've been involved with the Epistemy Project. Can you just ask why did you get involved? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, it was first pitched by Ken Rutherford from the University of Cambridge to our science and maths departments generally. Mm -hmm just as a thought of an idea to start with. So we were really there at the genesis. And it's something that uh, one of my colleagues, uh, at the time she's now moved on, but a um, colleague and I at the time were very excited by what Ken had to say about um, children and, and learning to talk and discuss matters, and also how science and maths can be, um, can be taught in slightly different ways and more cohesive way bring them together and topics of proportionality and forces and electricity and, um, and it was it, it, it sounded exciting. Yeah. So what's the involvement been for you? What have you had to do? Uh, a fair bit. Uh, as we were there at the beginning we, we started to first of all attend some sessions where we, uh, we learned about the, the pedagogy behind uh, what they were doing and, and the research that it was based on. Uh, and then, following that, we were trialling some ideas uh, of, to of topics and, and uh, activities uh, in school. Uh, then we fed that back, uh, and the idea was that they would put together a whole package of intervention materials that we could then use in school. And then uh, phase two, in the second year, once we trialled some of those, the second year was actually up, uh, scaling up the intervention and it went to the whole uh, of our faculties uh, and then, then they came in and videoed an awful lot of lessons and interviewed teachers and pupils uh, and really it was, it, it, was, it was okay, it was manageable but there was quite a lot of teacher and pupil involvement. And so reflecting back, what's been the biggest challenge for you? Um, I'm not sure there was a challenge for me in itself because I was so enthused by it. There was no time pressures um, because we were able to very, be very creative with our time. So originally I thought time would be an issue. And invariably some, some colleagues were initially reserved about it because of the time, because of the complex nature of some of the, the activities and it was very new to them. But in time I think they, they accepted it and, and generally speaking everyone took it on board uh, towards the end of the second year the university and we got some very good feedback. So, yeah, in terms of challenges, probably time to start with. And in terms of what have been the main benefits or, or the value of taking part? Personally, um, it's really enthused me to go on to do uh, additional research. Um, I'm, I'm going to probably next year take over the research uh, leadership in, in conjunction with the University of Cambridge in my school. But I also went on to do a master's degree, uh, all based on around yeah. talk in the classroom. Mm. So very, very similar things that we've been doing. Mm. Inspiration. But... Excellent. And at Tismi we're very concerned, we're interested in how research can better inform practice and how practice can better inform research. Do you have any messages either for us as Tismi or more widely for the government as to what might help? Communication mm -hmm. um, and working together and valuing each other. Uh, it's, it, it's very much, I think, as some of my colleagues have said today, um, if we work together on these things and, and uh, realise the value of research in the classroom, and um, researchers value the classroom and give it priority and make us uh, feel listened to, I think that is definitely the key. And that's one of the things I took from the early days, is the respect and the, the time that people took to listen to our thoughts and our ideas yeah. uh, and that, that really is inspirational as well. Right. And just finally, what messages might you have for any other teachers who might be thinking about this in research? Well, um, it does, does involve commitment, mm -hmm. you definitely have to be committed, but uh, I think it's, well, it, it's worthwhile. Um, 
it depends what you want it from from it personally. Um, but I think the benefits from actually taking part in research projects far outweigh any any drawbacks. Thank you very much, Brian. Thanks very much. That's, That's right. fantastic. Thank you. Thanks. Do continue with your lunch. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs>